Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with invalid drive error 1327 and that an error has occurred during the setup. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just soft click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to do that, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just select the save button to actually save it. And if you ever need to restore back from that, just select the file and import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So go ahead and double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing for software. And now look for Microsoft. Double click on that and now go to Office. So double click on Office and now select which version of Office you have. So if you have the 2016 version, it's going to say 16.0. So double click on that and now you want to locate a folder that says Delivery. If you do not see a delivery folder that appears when you expand the 16 folder here, you want to go right click on it, select New and then type Key. We're going to call this key delivery, so D-E-L-I-V-E-R-Y. Hit enter on your keyboard. And now on the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new, and then you want to select string value. Type in local cache drive, so L-O-C-A-L-C-A-C-H-E, D-R-I-V-E. The first letter of each of those words should be capitalized, no spaces, and hit enter. And now you want to double click on that. For value data, you want to name it whatever drive letter Windows is installed on or whatever drive you're installing the Office application suite. Most of you guys will probably be the C drive. If you're not sure, you can always open up the start menu, go into File Explorer here, and then select this PC on the left side, and then your local disk in parentheses should be here. You see a little Windows icon about the hard drive, and we can see it's a C drive. So type the uppercase letter, so I'm going to type in uppercase C, left click on OK, and now I'm going to close out the registry editor, with it just restarting your computer, and the error should no longer be present if you're attempting to update or reinstall the Office application. So pretty straightforward process here guys, I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.